Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back with day four of the wish list. That is right, already into chapter 12, so we've made a lot of progression again as we continue through here. However, this is gonna be the last day of the Awakened version of Laika, but we do have a couple more summons in here. Now there is also a code, that is right guys, here is your code. 10 summons, which is going to be absolutely massive on this account, as well as a couple eight hour chests, which are going to give us resources to make some more progression in here. That is going to be, again, a pretty big game changer. Now, we are still using Orin as our main carry, trying to get the rest of these heroes up to level 120 so we can actually level him up a little bit further. Like I said, Laika, we got 10 hours left. So she is just about done, guys, as we go into day four. And then, of course, resources. We just need to collect up some more of these resources. Continue making progression in here. Now, in addition, guys, we've actually gotten to the point within formations that we have our pet. That is right, guys. There is the dreary ball. So we do have our first beast in here. We also do have quite a bit of beast food out of the events that we've been doing. But as of right now, we cannot use it because we haven't made enough progression through AFK Arena itself. So let's go ahead. We're going to pop open these chests. The other chest I'm still just kind of saving on. But there, guys, is... One 1,490k experience, which is a lot, especially early, guys. We got two stones out of here. Hopefully, it's going to be someone good, which it looks like Nemisu, and I think the other one was Belinda. If I've seen a really, really quick shot, which it is, um, we did get a free copy of Belinda, so that gives us two for an Elite Plus. Um, however, not a hero that is really used at all, but that also does give us the ability to have our, I believe that is our first Lightbearer hero. Um, that we can actually build up. You can see this is actually locked with the rewards chest. And then this one, again, the chest of wishes, we're just kind of saving as we're going through progression. Now, we also do have 20 faction scrolls. I farm some of those out of um, the event that is going on right now. Again, just trying to make progression through pretty much everything that we can. And I know a lot of players were kind of commenting, how are we going through it so fast, guys? We're not using Rem, we're not using Amelia. They were kind of the cheat code when it came to AFK Arena. We're literally just going through here and making progression with what we have, utilizing the events that we have, going through the peaks of time, um, and also going through the voyage that we just did to make progression. So we do have Greyborn again. We're looking for another copy of Damon. We have a couple more friendship summons, which we're getting these every day now. Thank you guys to everyone who has joined the wish list. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun in this account, guys. It's cool to see some of the newer heroes within a basis game so being from the very beginning of afk arena it's pretty interesting and there is a quad guys i don't even know the last time that we've seen a four pole in there but that is awesome we did finally get ivan and we got our first celestial i mean short of wukong but we did get a copy of zafriel so very very cool and then who was the other one guys we got trishia look at that pull and we got nevi wow that is a massive, massive pull, guys. So Zafriel, Ivan, Nevi, and Trishia. That is very, very cool to see. And again, it's been a long time since we've actually gotten a four quad pull. That's awesome. That That is huge for progression-wise. That, that is awesome to see. All right, so we got a couple diamonds in here. Hopefully, we can get maybe another good pull. Just a single on that one, but that's okay because that is a copy of Oden. Unfortunately, not seeing the copies of Damon right now. We've only seen one. There's a second copy of Edwin. But now we're getting to the point that we're seeing multiple copies of Heroes. So again, it's starting to make a little bit more progression. We're maxed on our tier. So there we go, guys. There's Nevi, Oden, there's Trishia, and there's Edwin. And I believe with Trishia, we already do have a couple other, couple other copies. So if we get a little bit more food, we can actually build her up to Legendary Plus. Um, which is what we're looking to do, guys. So we'll have, and it's funny because they're literally just pushing us towards utilizing the the Wilders versus the um versus the Greyborn, which is what we were looking with Ivan and Damon. Now, Ivan, of course, guys, very effective even at an early game like we are right now. We're gonna have to see the effectiveness that we can kind of get out of that hero. And a double right there, which is double Damon, guys. Wow, we were literally just talking about that. Um, but there is a double copy of the Forsaken Child Damon. Um, that gives us now three copies instead of the one, making him Elite Plus is gonna bring some more utility, also using some of the resources that we do have in there. I wonder if we can get one more, guys. That is a lot of Elite Heroes that we just pulled out of here. That is phenomenal to see. Almost to the point, making more progression to um, actually unlock the Stargazer. 
And unfortunately, no more copies out of there, guys. But that was five, acquire 500 heroes. And there is Damon. And again, with Damon, that's the one that we're going to be focusing on. I know, I believe out of finishing chapter 12, they do give us another copy. Um, so I'm going to go in here. We have Silvana. We have Nauru. We have double copies there. You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for him for a minute. Just because we know we're going to build him out out of the, the choice chest. And the hero chest that I'm talking about is right here. When we finish 12, guys, we can actually come down here. And I believe we have Damon in here. And we'll be able to pull that fourth copy to take him um, up to legendary based on the food that we have. So very, very close to pulling him out of there as well. It's going to be awesome. That That is going to be absolutely phenomenal, guys. Elder Tree, we're continuing to just level this thing up. And boom, just got to get... Uh, level 15 or chapter 12 to unlock the elder tree. And again, we're getting there. Same with the beast ground. The beast ground, we need a level or chapter 15 to make progression in there to continue. We're doing really well. We started getting the mythic gear in the store um, with our summons, started to pick up a couple more stones. Now I picked up the very first copy of Joan of Arc. Out of the Labyrinth Sword, Joan of Arc is what you're looking for. And then out of here, we are actually going to go for Mulan. Those are going to be the first priority. Now also, and I'm wondering if we got anything within the Field of Stars. I haven't unlocked any of this. It unlocked the Field of Stars itself, but we actually haven't had the ability to make any progression. And then, of course, within the within the events itself, within Legacy of Grit actually came up, um, which would be interesting to swap. But looking in here, guys, you can see the trial begins, what, in nine days? As we went through, we did our daily attempts. Um, we're getting these chests. So we are actually pulling the faction chests. Again, a lot of you did comment that we couldn't get Mortis because of the Sigil of Destruction. We possibly could have if I borrowed one and got one, um, but unfortunately I didn't at that point, but I don't even think still we would have enough days. So we're getting those chests, guys, which again means when we get these chests with these um, the Graveborn cards, we're going to be able to build up Damon quite a bit higher. We have Ivan unlocked, plus we do have Oren in there. It's going to be a pretty solid team, guys. We also got that single copy of Palmer that we've been using out of there. So overall, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. King's Tower, we're going to have to make some more progression. But like I said earlier, guys, we are just continuing to make levels. We need more levels on these heroes. As you can see, guys, 106. We can actually make a little bit more progression. Let's go 115. And the reason why I'm kind of doing it this way is being able to actually bring up Leica quite a bit. Because who is the other one? Right there, Scrath. I think we can actually go 120. Let's see who we can get, if we can get them all. No, oh, we're a little bit shy, guys. So just a little bit shy with Oden in there. We just need a few more resources, but that does take the Awakened version of Leica up to 115, so definitely a lot stronger with informations, which means we're going to be able to make some tower progression. Labyrinth, we've been going through here, and again, that's what gave us the copy right there of Joan of Arc. So she is going to be the one that we're prioritizing building. This one, of course, is locked. We have 10 chests here. We have 30. Notice we haven't gotten any of the basic emblems yet, but we've also been getting a couple Stargazer Scrolls. Those are coming out of, again, the event, the, the event right here with the Lost Sigils. And I'm going to have to figure out, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should we put somebody, should we drop somebody in the Legacy? I mean, we could swap Oren with Damon. We could swap Oren with Ivan um, and go from there. There's a lot of different ways that we could actually do this. And I think Oren for Ivan might make sense because then we'll run Ivan Davin or Ivan and um, Damon in there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about who we should run. Again, this is day four, guys, and we are 12. I think with the new levels, we should be able to push a little bit further, building our beasts out a little bit further. We can do this. All right, guys. So again, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.